Hey Ark of New Jersey, it's Matthew Locasio back with another weekly edition of helpful health tips and exercises for you guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Again, as I mentioned in the previous two um, segments for the July theme, we are doing a rotational theme because of a twister that was in Trainer Matt's area. Did you like that little spin move? Um, during our first installment, um, as we know, July is a time for great outdoor things, so hopefully no more twisters or tornadoes to worry about, but it did spawn the theme for, you know, rotational wind equals rotational exercises. Uh, we've gone through two upper body ones. Today, we're doing a lower body rotational exercise. That's right. I how You'll have to see in a second, but first, remember... Watch the video, make sure to listen, make sure you're doing it right. If you do not feel comfortable doing it, do not do it. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, if you have questions that are not answered during the video, please feel free to reach out to us at IHT 908-875-3241. Info at inhometrainermat.com is the email, inhometrainermat.com through the contact portal. We can be reached any of those ways, but again, don't do anything you're not comfortable with. Make sure you're doing it right. If it does not feel right, do not continue to do it. Okay, so without further ado, here's how we're gonna do the leg one. We're doing hip rotational exercises. What's that mean? That means we're opening a gate. See what I just did there? No, I'll back it up by closing the gate. So what we wanna do is lift our leg up. And remember, this is a balance exercise, so if you don't feel comfortable with the balance, you'll hold yourself up against the wall, something as long as you're not leaning or going like this or anything, as long as you can keep a straight line, and as long as what you're holding is sturdy. If it's something that's also wobbly, do not hold on to it. So make sure your balance is good while you're doing this, but we're gonna open the gate, bring the foot out, close the gate, bring it back down. I'm gonna back up a little bit because I realize now that you might not see the bottom of my legs here. So let's back up a little bit. All right, here we go. Up and out. Up and back in. Now here's the part that I'm leaving up to you guys. You can do one side and then switch to the other side or you can alternate. That is your choice. Do whatever you feel most comfortable with. Please, if you're doing this at home, go with what feels most comfortable for you. Either way, the goal should be 10 to 12 each side, so 20 to 24 total, whether you're doing one side, then the other, or alternating. For the purpose of the rest of this video, I'm going to alternate. But again, I'll leave it up to you at home. So again, open the gate, foot lands on the outside here. And then I'm bringing it up and back in. Now, same thing, opposite side. Out and then in, nice and slow. I wanna bring it up to where I feel comfortable, out and down. Then I'm going up, back in, down. Up, out, down. Up, back in, down. Once you get a smooth motion, you can just do it all. See how I just go out? It almost is one nice curvature rotation, but when you're starting it, go slow, go through the process, do it more robotic-like till you get it down, till it becomes a smoother process. So that would look like this. Up, out, down, up, in, down. And then again, once you feel comfortable, you can just swing it out, swing it back in. Swing it out, swing it back in. Just like that. Nice and slow. Again, because we're holding our leg in the air, we don't want to do it super deliberately slow, but slow enough that we're not going to hurt ourselves. But also, we don't want to hold it like a karate kick, crane kick here. So, nice, smooth, and deliberate. Just like that. And again, 10 to 12 each side. Take your time with it. Don't 
go higher or further out than you feel comfortable. If you've got to keep that range of motion in a little bit till you're more comfortable or stronger and then work it out from there, that's fine. Don't go further than you feel comfortable um, the uh, first time or second time or even third time doing this. Take your time with it. Allow yourself time to get comfortable with it and allow your body time to master the balance and the strength of the exercise. With that being said, guys, enjoy that. Make sure you're doing it safely. If you need to hold something for balance, do it again as long as you're in a straight line. And please, 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 whether, you're, um, whether you've been doing exercise for years or it's your first time doing it, Make sure it feels comfortable to you. If it doesn't, don't continue to do it. And again, you can reach out to us at IHT. We're here to help you. 908-875-3241. Info at inhometrainermat.com or inhometrainermat.com through the contact portal. Again, we're here to help. I hope you enjoyed that one. That'll get your hips. You should feel it in your hips. That should help them get looser, but also stronger. My hips don't lie, neither do Shakira's, and I'm not lying when I say you're going to enjoy the last version of the rotational exercises coming at you next week. What will it be? You'll have to tune in to find out. Have a great night, Narc.